This call is now being recorded. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, April. Oh my God, how are you? <laughs> I am. I am. I am. First of all, I am ecstatic to be on the lily pad. That's that's the first thing. Uh, <laughs> and I'm thrilled to be chatting with you. Right. I, I cannot believe it's been um, since grammar school that we've actually talked. That I know. I thought about it yesterday. I'm like, oh, my God, it's been since eighth grade. Right? Yes. Just, it, it boggles my mind. <laughs> I, I follow, don't get me wrong now. I, I actually I follow you on Facebook. And, Thank you um, for that. <laughs> very much so. Of course. Oh, my God. If, if you don't follow, I, I don't understand why you would because uh, you're brilliant. Uh, oh. you're <laughs> you really are. Um, and, I, and I love what you post. Um, well, thank you. But, thank uh, you very much. You're welcome. <clears throat> you're, you're welcome. Um, so, so a, a couple things. First of all, I have to say. Uh, first of all, I I'm here in my uh, two room apartment. Yeah. Um, and with me, seated right next to me, or laying next to me, is my dog. Uh, one of my dogs, Jesse. Uh, he is, he's one of the loves of my life. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because. He at some point could start barking because he uh, loves to look out the window uh, and bark at people, dogs, bugs, whatever whatever happens to be going by at the time. So if we are interrupted by his bark, please understand. Um, oh, that's totally that's fine. fine. <laughs> okay. You know, when I first started this little endeavor of mine, um, yeah. and thank, like I said, first of all, thank you very much for wanting to be on the show. Um, I've had to, like I said, modify how I have people on. And, right. you know, I figured, you know, people do electronic signatures all the time. So let's just send people the form and let them respond to an email and do a phone call. It's not the best audio quality, but if you can hear the conversation, I think it's fine. You know, who's I'm not looking for perfection because when I started this, the, the studio is in my basement. I I live with mom. Right. I'm, oh, I'm oh, oh, hey, me too. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt you, but, but that's so funny because I live in a very small apartment in yeah. my mom's house. So, rock Oh, rock. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I've moved in and out, but I'm like a homing pigeon. I always find my way back, so. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I the house we're in is, is pretty big, so we're not really, you know, in, in each other's way. And so... <laughs> One of the rooms downstairs, and it's actually, it's it's funny, because it's actually my grandparents' house. This house was built in 55, and my family's been the only family that's lived in it. So my mom grew up here. I grew up in this house. It's totally old-fashioned. Needs Aww. needs a lot of facelifts. She's she's an old girl, but she's she's strong, and she, um, so, we, you know, we do little projects here and there. But I took over one of the rooms downstairs in the basement, because it's, an, you know, back in the day when they built houses, they didn't put heated basements they usually just right. use them for storage right. <clears throat> excuse me i might be clearing my throat a lot today of course the day i have phone calls i'm like i have one of, of those cl throat clearing days of course <laughs> just, just so that you know i'm drinking my coffee w with my jack ellington mug <laughs> oh my gosh oh, my brother perfect. christmas oh, gift for my brother this year and i have a couple of sally mugs too i absolutely love them um so i it was trying to find ways, you know, space heaters, but they weren't always the greatest because it gets really cold down here. Yeah. So we have this gas heater. It's it's there's a gas hookup in this room, and it mounts it mounts right on the wall. It was like I don't know, two hundred bucks from Home Depot. It looks like a little because you can see the flames. It's like almost like I have a campfire down here, but I really don't. And then I oh, put one of those fake Love fireplaces it. with the heaters, and that thing heats this room up great. And I put a shower curtain with my '70s beads. It's totally cute. Um, and have LED lights exactly. everywhere. Look, you would probably love this room. Everybody I, sounds like I would love it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God. Like the ambiance and just the, like the coolness of it. I can't even like, I, I am definitely a child of like the seventies and the sixties. Right. If I were, oh, yeah. I'd probably be like a flower child or a hippie. Like, I, Oh, I, me I, too. I am. Totally. Now, okay, so we're gonna. I, I have a feeling like we're gonna be chatting forever, and I know that's probably not gonna happen. But <laughs> I'd love it to, because like once I start talking, and once we start like reliving memories, and oh anyway, my god, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So um, I was listening to your um, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I am blanking. Um, your, your tease, your tease for oh the for, teaser uh, from yesterday. 
Love, actually, I, like, again, I'm like really excited and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I hope to God, like, I don't burp or I don't, like, have, like, you know. Oh, no, you can burp. Or, it's totally fine. You can even right. burp and, you can even burp and fart if you This is the lovely thing about online radio. Like, you could even drop an accidental F-bomb because the FCC, it's not like the radio you listen to in your car. Yeah. Um, it, or, you know, um, through, like, you know, the apps on the phone, like iHeartRadio. Like, there's, obviously, there's so many, <clears throat> excuse me, those regulations that are right. going on. Regulations that you have to yeah. be compliant with, of course. Of course. Yeah. Online yeah. radio, you don't have to worry about that. So, if I, uh, well, you drop an S-bomb, I mean, I try not to swear because I sometimes have a tendency to have a truck driver's mouth. So, try to you try to do. definitely clean it up a little bit. But if you say something like that, and... When you were talking about your dog, like, seriously, this is the funniest thing. So when I set this whole room up downstairs, I have soundproof foam in areas where I can, but it's definitely not a soundproof room by any means. You hear everything. Like, I can tell where my mother is in the house when she starts walking around. It's funny. I'm like, oh, she's on the move. <laughs> you we know? Live, I swear we live parallel lives, April. That is yeah. so true. I, I, <laughs> and, uh, for, and seriously, for, for me, like I have to say, I am I am very fortunate and blessed to be yeah. able to, because I've actually also moved around very nomadically mm-hmm. in terms of where I've lived. But like you said, you always come home. You always find your way home, which is which is yeah. a, a blessing and very grateful. Uh, oh, absolutely. However, uh, the house that, that we currently live in, uh, it's a beautiful home. Uh, we've been here for 17 years in yep. southern Maine. And, southern um, Maine, okay, yep. But here's the thing. Um, we are very uh, close in terms of proximity. We don't have the luxury of having, like, separate areas. So uh-huh. it, it's um, it's definitely a challenge at times, and it's a blessing at the same time. Like I said, I, I couldn't right. be more grateful to be where I am and, and to uh, to live with my mom. Um, oh, right, exactly. You know what I mean? But I do, I do. It, it's very interesting at times because you can literally hear everything that goes on <laughs> And, of course, with me, like, I have to be conscious of that sometimes and be like, okay, so, you know, you just have to think about, okay, so where you are and, and what you say. And, you know, you don't want to be disrespectful. You don't want to be like, you know, because you're right literally when I say, like, we're on top of each other, mm-hmm. um, it, it's a close-knit situation. So, mm-hmm. right, so it's like, wow, um, things I didn't think about before, you definitely have to keep in mind now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yep. So, you know, it is what it is. And like I said, I, I'm very yeah. grateful and, and happy to be home. Because oh, it's yeah. a place like home, of course. No, absolutely. Um, oh, great movie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you got that. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend oh. a whole bunch of, like, you know, <laughs> you know, movie titles or movie quotes. and it's my Oh, life. my God. I'm like that, too. I do quotes all the time. I've stumped people here and there. I love when I when they look at me like, oh, my God, what movie is that from? I'm like, I'm not What is that from? Or what are you talking about? Or, you know, <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. That, it's in my head all the time. And it's yeah. unfortunate because it's pretty much all I have in my head. Uh, you know, Well, you are, you know, a man of the stage and the and entertainment realm. So we'll we'll talk that, about that, that in a few, too. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to say, too, that I was in preparation for, for our talk today. I, I, I'm trying to be like, okay. So I, I don't want to sound unintelligent, and I don't want to sound like oh god, you know, no, don't worry what about what that. What the heck do I talk about, and how do I, you know, I don't want to, you know. Anyway, so I'm thinking about okay, so if she has any questions for me, like how should I prepare and be, you know, uh, you know, very uh, intellectual. Uh, <laughs> and I was thinking the one of the very first times that I was on stage, uh, I believe it was with you. Uh, if me you remember uh, back. Of course, like my my memory pretty much sucks. Uh, uh, well, because we're old anyway, now. If, if you remember, <laughs> if you remember, I don't know if it was either in seventh or eighth grade, but we as a class or, or had to perform. I believe it was like a it, uh, like a colonial times play, um, and we performed for either it was the seventh or eighth grade. Like we had like three. Two or three performances that day. Do you remember oh. this, or am I like totally crazy? It's uh, very possible I, I blocked it out. Pardon me? Yeah, it's very, very probably blocked oh. it out because I was probably that bad. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I remember I, I played a, I had like probably two lines in this whole thing, but I, but I remember uh, that much that that our class or our 
I don't know if it was two classes, if it was seventh and eighth grade together, or if it was mm -hmm. just the eighth grade or seventh grade, whatever. So we had prepared some sort of, like, I don't know if it was American history or yeah. some sort of play that, that we performed at in the cafetorium. Remember that lovely stage with the, you know, uh, delightful colored curtains? I will never get those out of my mind. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we actually, we spent, I think it was like two or three hours performing this play for, like, yeah. you know, all the, all the uh, lower grades. Uh, and I thought that was just the greatest thing, you know, uh, back was then. That the but, birth, um, was that the birth of your love affair with theater? Oh my gosh, it, it was. It was. It was the. Uh, it was one of the the, the stepping stones. Yeah. I um. Uh, of course, growing up um, at home and with a, with a musical family, my grandmother was uh, or uh, was an accomplished musician. So really, I didn't know that. She, oh yeah, oh yeah. She she could she could actually play channel by ear. You would say to her, Graham, um, can you play this song? And she would think yeah. about it for a hot second. And she would just play it. And On I the piano, like, oh. you said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was also classically trained, of course. Yeah. But she could very easily, I mean, some songs she, she'd have to, like, listen to or she'd have to hear for, like, you know, just to get the, the melody or whatever. But mm -hmm. she, at, right after she could pick it up. Um, and it was just like, holy, I mean, I, I, I am in awe of her to this day. And um, she's like, she was like a second mother to me. And I grew up um, staying in her house. Um, Many a weekend, and that's pretty, that's pretty much what we did. Was we, we she played piano, and I would sing. Um, and also, I, I grew up listening to albums. Remember the albums, April? Uh, yeah. I still have three of them. And one of my first albums that I ever listened to was uh, from the musical Godspell. Uh, okay, yeah. And I, I would wear out that album. Like I, I, I still have it, um, and I <laughs> play it, play it, play it. So one day. My mother was like, um, there's a production of Godspell playing at um, the Amesbury Playhouse, um, okay. which is no longer, unfortunately, there. Um, so so we went to go see it. And I remember I vowed to myself that day or that mm -hmm. evening, I said, this is what I want to do. This is this. And I was oh, that's probably, awesome. I'm guessing I was probably maybe like eight or nine. Um and I was like, I, I have to do this. It, it was just thrilling. And it was just, it was, they were a dinner theater. Yeah. Um, and it was just, uh, like I said, everything to me was just, it was magical. And that was probably, that was the big, that was the starting point. And from there, it's just like anything. Oh, that's I could awesome. Do, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Make it a mess. <laughs> yeah, so it, it stuck with me. And I was like, well, that's what I'm going to do. No matter, no matter, you know, where I am in my life or, or how, how I proceed. Uh, with my life goals, mm -hmm. uh, theater, musical theater, regular theater, the stage is is, is where I, I I need to be. So that, so like I said, um, that was that was the biggie. But I remember, like I said, I don't need to remember like that like that stage show, <laughs> uh, that brilliant stage show at St. Monica's. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> that was also like I said, I, I was just so thrilled to have like two lines, and I know I was a farmer. <laughs> And I just was like, it was something like, you know, here's your grain or here's the, you know, corn that you need. And then I walked off and it was like, that was it. But, you know. But that was like meant that. to be. It was destiny it, at its best. Yes, it was. It I, really was. I, I, I truly believe that. I think that, you know, everything has a has a reason <laughs> and a purpose. And, I mean, with coughing in your ear, I apologize. No, 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 please. It's, okay, I, I, first of all, you're on speakerphone because I talk with oh. my hands. And if you tie my hands together, I'd be mute. Oh, um, it's because you're Italian like me. That's what yes. happens. <laughs> Seriously, like, I create a wind when I talk. It's like really, oh, yeah. you know. It, it's, my, but that's, you know. I also talk really fast. My dad used to always say to me, okay, so out of that sentence, April, I got the word the. Can we try that again? <laughs> Um, but it's funny you mentioned, yes. um, so, so to go back to, to grandma school's, yes. um, our cafeteria. So not, not okay. to bring in a sad reason why I was there, but my grandfather was when he was, you know, kind of on his, um, he was right before he passed away and I was trying to find a priest. Right. And we were at the nursing home right near our, our school. And <clears throat> I said, I, I'm on a mission. I wasn't going to go home that night until I found someone for my grandfather. Mm -hmm. So I went 
to St. Monica's, I saw the first floor lights on. I was like, oh, maybe somebody's there. So I first went to, and I always say nunnery, but it's a convent. <laughs> Sorry. The convent, right, right. Remember the convent next door? Uh, um, I do. I, do. Was, I remember the, the convent. I, I don't mean to mm, away from the story, but the convent had a very distinct smell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you and it was I'm eerie. It was it was very eerie. Yeah. To very me, dark, eerie. eerie. Like, yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't want to be alone in that house, but. No, I, I don't blame, don't blame you. So I was um, pretty happy nobody answered the door at the mm-hmm. at that building, but I went into the school. Yeah. So. I went in the left front door. I try to keep certain details out just because I try to, to conserve certain privacy as far as, like, locations. That's why I only right. have people state the, you know, name the state that they're in, so <clears throat> things like that. So I went into the left front door, and I said, mm-hmm. okay, well, I have to peek in the the girls' bathroom because I just had to see what it looked like. And I'm like, oh, my God, this place was so much bigger when I was a kid. Walked right. into the cafeteria, the thing looked like a postage stamp. I was like, this place used to be ginormous. I was like, wow, this place is small. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Like, I, and it's the truth. Yes. Yeah. As, as a side note, um, several years later, this was probably, uh, and this was still when uh, the original St. Monica's Church was still there. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. But it was probably, I would say, probably around the, I'm going to say, like, maybe, like, mid-90s, probably, like, yep. 93, 94. Anyway, long story short, too late. Uh, I actually <laughs> did a production. I directed a production of, of Godspell, ironically, at uh, St. Monica's. Mm-hmm. And we performed on, on, on that day. Uh, and it was, like, oh, full circle. Okay. But I remember thinking, the first thing, like, you, when I walked in there, I'm like, this cafeteria slash school was so much bigger. bigger. I remember it being like, yep. wow. And then you walk into the school again, and you're like, wow. Like, I can't believe like you're how like, either I've like grown to <clears throat> immense proportions or it's just that, like that reality or that it, it, you just think of it being so much bigger and so much, you know, more than what it was. Oh, know? absolutely. Um, absolutely. It was just like, memories flooded back and um you know it, it's just it's funny the certain things you remember oh yeah uh, and stuff that sticks in your mind so um yep. but but yeah St. Monica's and and uh crazy stuff I haven't actually I haven't been back to to Methuen in in several years unfortunately and oh really because I'm not really that far you know, it's probably mm-hmm. like an hour and a half drive, if that. Yep. Um, but you know, the the best plans are are always made, and for some reason. Uh, but now, uh, I have a reason to. Because you're, are you locally? I am. Or are you still local? Great. Oh yeah, Great. totally. Yep. Business, totally. Business. Yeah, and I mean, we meet up halfway because I honestly think we should hang out sometime. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, April, that would be. Incredible, and I don't understand why we haven't uh, yet. I don't. Um, I don't know. This COVID nineteen thing has really gotten everybody. Well, well yeah. let me phrase that. It's, I mean, it's a good way to connect with everybody. And I, it yeah. was funny because, <clears throat> like I said, I I had wanted to do um, other ways to get the show. Yeah. You know, different ways to do. It. So like like I said, doing the video yesterday was my first time, and now I'm just going to do videos just to because a lot of people like visual as well as audio. So yeah. full episodes yeah. will be primarily just audio like this. So this will be, uh-huh. you know, I'll save this phone call, I'll upload it, and then I'll add music to like a little intro and and whatnot. But any videos I will be just it. talk. Um, and it's funny because I have to, and you know, because you're you're in, you know, you're in theater and everything, so you know yeah. that the different um, legalities of using someone's work, things like that. So totally. You have to really... Oh, yeah. Copyright and loyalty. Is, oh, yeah. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a very yeah. big deal. And uh, yeah. that's why I got all trademarked with the logo and everything. And I – because when I started this whole thing, I didn't – I because I had already been in radio for a few years. And I had interviewed for a job down at the Cape. And I didn't get it. They went with someone super high profile, which was fine. Right. But it really got me revisiting the podcast idea. So that's why I was like, you know what? And I, I put it in my little bio on the website. I put, if no one's going to put me on the I'll do it myself. Because, Good for you. Good for you. Because, you yeah. know, nobody's going to know what I want to do more than me. <clears throat> now, my, my goal really is to try to get – I want to get out there. I want to get followers and listeners and things like that. And you got to get creative. And I'm recently um, unemployed, so now I have a lot more time on my hands. 
and that's right. fine. Um, right, of course, it's a blessing in, in, in a certain way because you can concentrate on, on your career and what you want to do. Yeah, um, and creative endeavors, like things like that. Like I've been writing poetry for years and and um, short stories and things like that, so I want to keep working on that as well. I mean, obviously look for a job because I, I, I would like to be employed again at some point. But, of course. Um, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But um, I'm not I'm not hating I'm not hating the quarantine side of it. I mean I miss my friends, um, but I I it's whoops. See, and this is the thing um, to circle back to the whole um, dog barking and extra noises. I used to uh-huh. hate all those extra noises. Like my phone just told me I had an email. Before I would hate when all the extra noises would come into the sh- you know recorded, and now I find them they're like. They're like sprinkles on your Sunday. They just add more flavor and more character to what you're, you know, listening Absolutely. to or eating. Absolutely. And sometimes Absolutely. I can hear our cat bellowing to her people through the ceiling. So I think it's <laughs> hilarious. She is oh, loud. That is She's... wonderful. Oh, yeah. I, so I have to tell you, that, like I said, in, in, in preparing to, to speak with you, uh, it, 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 was, it, was, it was both glorious and, and nerve wracking because I like I said I wanted to make sure like we like you said we haven't actually communicated uh, since yep. grammar school and I was like okay so I have to have a list of things to talk about I have to make sure that and, and now it's like just just talking with you I am so yep. much at ease and it's like I we could go on forever and I have so many things that I could share with you and I oh we can we can do this every week I don't care please we, please. We oh, can we can me? talk all the time. Me? I invite that. Are you kidding? I absolutely invite it because I I thought about it after we scheduled a call. I said if I know Mark the way I think I know Mark, we're gonna need more than one episode. <laughs> look at look at like, that's why I said you were like I'm thinking okay so she's got someone at, at, at she's got Franny is it Franny or Fanny? Oh Fanny, she's my acupuncturist. Fanny. She's wonderful. I well again I was listening to your cheese and I'm like oh my gosh these people sound amazing like there's there's Fanny and then there's um Erin now Erin trainer is yep. what cause I I know what, she's not is, is she is she in Massachusetts or is she in yeah and in, in, she's not Massachusetts I know of she a is. trainer named Erin so when you said that I was like oh my gosh I wonder if it's the same person <laughs> but the one that I that I know of she she's in Maine um, oh okay so I anyway to to to, to bring it back I. Was was listening to your to your um, your teases, which is fantastic. Which you know, I love. First, the, the audio was great, and then I saw the video this morning. I'm like, perfect. Um, <laughs> and you were saying that that Fanny is is a foodie, and oh, yeah. you are a foodie, and I am I, also a foodie. Oh, I, then we could talk. We could talk food for. I could talk food for days. <laughs> yes. Holy, I I can go on. I can go on. Love, love, love food. Um. And I am, and I know <laughs> this is this is like a running joke because how can you tell the, the joke is, and I'm horrible at telling them, but how can you tell that someone is vegan? Oh God! Uh, <laughs> and, and the punchline is just very simple: they'll tell you. Um, but the only reason why I'm saying that is because, like, <laughs> well, I tell, tell you, them, like, I, it's, it's true. <laughs> it is true in a way because, like, you know, when you go to yeah. restaurants and when you go, you know. When you place an order, you have to kind of be like, I, I can tell you right now that I am like a waiter, a waitress's worst nightmare because I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm very, you know, what's the word, um, apologetic, and I'm like, I want to work with you. But like yeah. I said, the reason why I told you, I just want to say, like, I am like all over the place with like vegan food blogs and like recipes and like wanting to, yeah. you know, share everything, and I just love. I just love talking about food. No, are you are you vegan or vegetarian? Or I am vegan. vegan. That was you I'm are sorry, vegan. That was that was a, that was a long way around the point of telling you that yes, I am. But I didn't want to make it. So you're right. Before. That's that's how I knew you were vegan. You told me. Right. So that's what I'm saying. That's a positive <laughs> yeah. joke, but it's actually a reality too because you know mm-hmm. I don't want to be like, well, I'm vegan, and you know, you start the whole thing of like, you know, because I I like I said, I love food. It's been a, a, a life. Oh yeah. Affair. Um, yeah. So, so my my journey with with um, vegetarianism turned into veganism at, at some point. But like I, I'm 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 just I can talk about any food. It doesn't matter, you know what yeah. it is. Like I, I I'm a I'm a huge foodie as well. So when I heard that, I was like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, um, I love food and and shows. I mean, I I always say I have 
I'm working my way down to one ass, but, um, oh. and I, <laughs> I mean, I've always, I've always struggled with weight. I've always been a big girl. Like even when I lose, like when I don't like saying lose weight, I like to bless the weight away or shed the pounds. Cause when you lose something, it, it indicates it's finding it, you know, finding its way back. And I really, I'm all set. But when I, when you, you know, you see me, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not a small girl structurally. Anyway, I'm built like my dad. I have yep. big bones. <laughs> kind of like Cartman says, I'm not just sad, I'm big boned. But, I'm big boned. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately for me, it's actually true. <laughs> right, right. No, no. Look, at, I, the struggle is real. I, I the struggle is real. I'm fluffy I, and I'm big boned. So. You know what? Embrace that and love it. That's the best. Like, I, I am too. And I, I have to tell you that, that you know, I've struggled uh, for many, many years. I've actually – um, you know, had a personal trainer that I loved working with, and like you know, he tells me, of course, we 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 argue all the time. He's he is not vegan. I'll just put it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, he he's I've known him for years. He's a great guy, but yeah. he always tell me like you have to eat eggs, you have to eat meat, and you have to do this. And you know, I'm like, well, I, I of course, to which I always say, I always show him like photos of like vegan bodybuilders and stuff, and. Um, you know, we have a great relationship that way because he, he, he works the hell out of me, and I think that that's what I need. Like, I'm the type of person that if you don't literally stand on my chest and be like, start working out or start doing it, it it's very challenging. I need that motivation. And, and, and like I said, when you when you talked also about have, talking with Aaron, mm-hmm. uh, I was like, that is, that's freaking unbelievable because that's part of my, you know, journey as well. Like, I'm trying to – to eat right, I'm trying to like exercise, and of course during this time of quarantine, let me tell you right now, I I believe it's the right thing to do, and no, don't don't misquote me. I think that we should be quarantined and we should you know do this. Oh, absolutely. Thank you of everyone involved, and thank you so much to our first responders because they oh, are yeah. literally uh, the best. However, they that are. being said, if I don't get to a salon soon or if I don't get to a gym <laughs> soon, it's going to be bad. Uh, I only look like, you know, uh, is it Paul Bunyan? Uh, Paul Bunyan. I'm working the book. I'm working and it's fine. But like I said, it's just, for me, like being being quarantined, I'm, like you, I'm. Tr- it's a great time to like be creative or try to hone your creative process and, and, and work on things that you typically wouldn't do because we now have time. Exactly. You know, yep. Do that. So it, it, it's, the, it's the silver lining. Um, right, it is, and it's, and it, and it can be definitely very hard. I know this is a, a dream come true for a lot of introverts. I'm, I'm both introvert and extrovert, so my and, introvert side and, is dancing, you know, dancing like crazy, and then the rest yeah. of me is like, I just want to hang out with my friends for a little while, right. you know. But it, I miss that social interaction, yeah. and mm-hmm. I'm a hugger from, from, from years ago. So to not be able to like, I, I have a feeling that you were a hugger. <laughs> oh my gosh, April, we'll probably help for an hour. When we oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I'm okay with that. I just want you to know I, I, I respect your, your personal space, but like I said, for me, that the first thing I do is, is, is hug and, and like not being able to do that. I'm, I'm having this, of course, my dogs are like, okay, Mark, I love you too. Can you get off me now? Yeah, um, let's go. Because I literally, <laughs> that's, that's where I get my, my fix. And of course, I can yeah. say that my dogs are, they love it. It's one of the things where it's a reciprocal thing. So, um, but yeah, it's one of the things where I, I miss that social interaction and I miss not being, um, you know, able to, to, to see people, even like, per, like family, like, oh mom, yeah. I, I constantly, she's in the same house and, and I, I always, you know, try to be like, you know, I love you, you know, and, and tell her, appreciate her that way. But not being able to like, you know, hug someone or have that mm-hmm. personal, interaction is, is tough for a lot it of is. people. It is. It is tough for, for a lot of people. Extroverts, because I'm, like I said, I'm with you. I'm both. Like, yeah. I, I love, I love being with people, but I also enjoy, you know, being able to, to um, just be and be creative yeah. on my own and, and you know, uh, tingling with the piano and doing things like, because my house is, I have to say my house has never been cleaner, which is a good thing. Uh, because uh, not I, my room. My room's still messy. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, you know, I will come over in like a hazmat suit, and I will take care of your. Like, I, I'm also OCD. I don't know if if that's something that you have to struggle with. But I have OCD. some tendencies. It's 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 funny um, because it drives a, a lot of my family crazy. 
Um, but the bike family is crazy, and I embrace that, and I, and I celebrate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know. I am um, so, – my OCD happens to be a lot in the food realm, and it was uh-huh. it was brought to my attention by a friend I used to hang out with back in the day. Okay. And she's like, you're OCD about food. I said, no, I'm not. I like everything. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. She's like, well, that's not what I meant. I said, well, what did you mean? She's like – she goes, oh, yeah. She goes, you do like a lot of types of food. Like you're – she goes, but you're so particular in how it's prepared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I thought about that. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God, she's right. And I remember one time, um, this was back when my dad was still with us, um, my mom made him an omelet. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. She's like, do you want me to make you one? I was like, sure, why not? So I'm sitting next to my dad in the little breakfast, you know, bar there. Mm-hmm. And she puts the omelet on my, my plate, and it looked a little different than my dad's. I said, well, this doesn't look like dad's. And she just looked at me. She said, but it's the same thing. I said, it just looks a little looks a little weird. Like, it just wasn't perfect, right? I'm just, I'm weird <laughs> sometimes, right? I said, no, don't worry, I'll eat it. Of course, I, you know, because it, it was just a cheese omelet. So it was fine to eat, but it just looked a little different. Right, so I right. looked at my dad and I said, oh, it's just my OCD kicking in. And he just kind of did the whole, yeah, nod. And then he looks at me and goes, wait, what's OCD? <laughs> 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 and I was, oh, I yeah. told him, I said, my omelet doesn't look like yours and it bothers me. Yeah. But I'm still going to, yeah. you know, but it's, I'm like little things like that. And, you know, and when I think about, you know, like when it comes to like if I make a homemade macaroni and cheese and I send you some home, you have to heat it up the way I want you to heat it up or it's gonna drive me. I'm like monk in a few okay. ways. Oh my god, what a fantastic show. Oh, oh I love god. it. I watch it every morning with my mom now that now that I have no life. And we watch oh. it when we have <laughs> It's the perfect opportunity that to to revisit. Oh it's such a great show. It is it good. Really he is. does that so well. He I mean really he does. He would drive he me crazy does. if I if I had someone like that as a boss, it would drive me crazy. But Oh, I think everybody can slightly relate to it because we all have our thing. Like everybody has their thing with right. whatever it is, like whether they like their bed done a certain way or like me with food or, or with people yeah. like their house cleaned a certain way. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. A, it's yeah. not necessarily OCD, but we all have our little um, quirks. And I, I mean, this in a good way because I think it's those, those little pieces of us is what makes us so unique. So I have, I don't look at them as flaws. Like some people are like, no. Oh, I'm so, flawed i'm like no 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 you're not flawed at all this you're is, you you're you it's what makes you and, unique and, but and you need to celebrate that right exactly because we're not all the same thank god because it would be um, boring it would be very boring like i i consider myself um to be a very creative uh and very uh out of the box person and yeah. um i i just think that that that's what makes us special and that's what makes us Unique, and I and I embrace that word special. I think that it just means that you, you you know, stand out, and you should stand out. You were made to shine, and it doesn't matter. No, oh, absolutely. Um, who you are, I think everyone has that ability to be uh, unique and be special. And so, yeah. like I, I I think that's that's what makes us us, and and, and me me, and you you, and uh, I, I do I celebrate that. I, I've always known that that I've, you know, I don't I don't. The, 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 I don't want to fit in the box because I, I think, don't. Yeah, I don't want to. You know, yeah, and I and I and I can tell, and I like why I think we have very, a lot of similarities, yeah. April, and, and I've always, um, and it hasn't always been easy. Don't get me wrong, because some of the things that I that I consider my own uh, idiosyncrasies um, <clears throat> can be frustrating to others. <laughs> uh, but but again, if you have a strong uh, friend support system and family Absolutely. support system, that's what matters. And even if you even if you didn't, I, I think that you you still need to be true to yourself and you need to to follow your passions, your dreams, and absolutely, and you, absolutely. You know, I mean, I'm a, a lot of the things I tell people all the time is if you stay true to who you are, everything else falls into place the way it's supposed to. If you're if you start absolutely. going against yourself. Right. You're going to have problems. I mean, things will still fall into place, but they're not going to fall into place everywhere. And then things, there's going to be issues for you. And, right. you know, and like, like I said, it's, sometimes it's easier said than done. And I mean, I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. I mean, yeah, yeah. we all have our, like I said, this, we all, you know, we all have our moments. But I think for the most part, I have done a pretty decent job um, trying to stay true to who I am. Um, and I'm, you know, like I said, I have my moments. I, I have my slip ups here and there. Um, but as long as you're, I think as long as you're a good person and you're not out to hurt anybody, 
you're good to go. Um, but and, and I think that that's what a lot of people have issues with. And I do feel bad because <clears throat> I think a lot of people not lose their way. I don't mean lose their way, but lose the opportunity. And, I, and I, I'm also a, a firm believer on the words you choose. So I hate saying mm-hmm. the word lose because, and that's I think this is the writer in me. Yeah. The thing is, is like when people get married and have children, and I love kids. Like I'm not married. I have no prospects of marriage. Dude, I can't even get someone to look at me twice. I'm not even worried about getting a first date right now. But right. that is well, not we'll, even. We'll, I'll work on that with you. We're, we're gonna, if that's what you want, of course. It's all about what you, what, if you have a vision board, whether it be mental or, or, or an actual vision board for you. Yep. Um, I 100% support it, and I think that, that – anyway, I don't mean to take away what you were saying. Oh, no. No, no, it's also – but I know what you're saying. It's like I'm, I'm wired a certain way when it comes to relationships and love, and I think that that's been part of my issue because I've been trying to figure that out. Yep. So it's part of trying to find out who I am. Um, but I think as far as, like, people that have found their significant other and, they you know, they have kids and stuff – it's hard to still have you time. So, yep. you know, I see yep. a lot of my friends who have the children. And like I said, I mean, I'm a big kid. I, and I love kids. I really do. I always, and I assumed. So, you know, being brought up the way I was brought up, I, and in society, I was always assumed, I assumed, I, I was always assuming that I would be married with kids. Right. Well, I always gave myself till 35 to have kids on purpose. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, um yeah. and yeah. I was right around that age when I started seeing someone and uh he was one of my really good friends for years and it just took a turn for the interesting one one weekend and then it just kind of evolved into a relationship. Now, by definition I guess you could say I'm a cougar because he was seven years young well, he's still seven years younger than me. Um right. and I, I'm not usually someone that dates anybody younger than myself, but I really that depends on the man. So it, I, younger or older, it's not a big deal. But we started going in different directions, and I knew okay. he wanted children. Now, I had always said I didn't want to start trying in my 40s. There was just no way. That was a non-negotiable aspect of me, even from when I was, like, 20. So that wasn't something. That um, was in the cards for you. Yeah. So when I got right. to the point where I looked at him one night, and we had been together for a little bit, um, well, at least two years. And I looked at him, and I said, where do you see yourself in five years? Now, at this time, he wasn't working, and he wasn't doing much to get off of his ass. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. He was just kind of like – he wasn't really um, – he, he didn't get the – Yeah, he wasn't motivated. And yeah. when he looked at me and said, blah, 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 I said, okay, well, where are your kids or your kid? And he just looked at me. And I had the same look. I, you know how you just know you you both it was at that moment the two of us both knew that it wasn't going to last for us oh, and that's sure. okay um of i course. knew at that point i'm like oh we're not going to be together forever because he wants children someday i don't want kids when i'm looking at a half a century old mm-hmm. so and i no. always assumed i was going to have them younger so a week and a half later we broke up and i just said look i need you to find what you're looking for i love you that much to find what you're looking for because uh-huh. Wow. I said, you know, and I was still in love with them, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep at night anymore knowing that the two of us clearly wanted different paths because I had, to, I looked at myself in the mirror before we, the, when I got home that night after we had that first conversation, I said, all right, I love him, but I love me more. What is it that I really want? And I really reevaluated a lot of things and decided that kids wasn't going to be part of my life biologically. Like I'm not going to biologically right. own any of them, but. Right. So we circle back to people having children. I find that, and I, I don't, it's not a pity. I empathize with parents because they don't have a lot of time for themselves once you have children. I mean, and it's because it's all about kids, and that's what it's supposed to be. They are your priority. But I course, feel they bad. Are your world. Yeah, yeah. I feel bad that a lot of the times it's hard for them to get even an hour to themselves. And I feel that. I wish that there was a way for parents to be able to do that, to stay true to them, even if it's just to clear your mind. Um, or if there's, if you want to read a book, if you're, or if you're, you know, a reader or a writer or someone who right. likes video games or something. Although with kids, you can play the video games with them. But I right. find that they probably, yeah, 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 they're probably much better than you would be. Plus, I, I can't, I can't even imagine trying to play today's video games. Like I, I'm stuck on Atari. Pac-Man. Atari! You know, joystick. Remember that? Okay. I do. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I I kicked ass on Pac Man. I was like, oh, I, I could have won a tournament. However, uh, I digress. Um, so, but no, I, I clearly understand it and, and, and absolutely get what you're saying. Um, and I have to say, uh, I didn't want to interrupt you while you were speaking. I have to say, what a selfless and beautiful act for for you to do that. I think that that to is, do what. Well, to 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 tell your 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 then boyfriend oh. that you know it's not meant to be, even though you loved him, um, I think it's so beautiful for you to, to to do that because you're you're not only just thinking of yourself and you yeah sure you can be married and you can have you know or you can still be together and not be happy neither mm-hmm. if you be happy but instead you chose to 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 uh, love him enough to say I want you to be happy. And that's such a beautiful and selfless thing. And not many people would do that, you know. Um, mm-hmm. So kudos to you. I think that that Thank you know, you. is such a wonderful um, way to be. And that's something that's not taught. That's something that's, you know, in you. And that's who that's, that, that's what makes you such a such a, a great person, April, is because. Thank you. And I've always known that because you've always had this um, – wonderful outlook on like you vote like you've been you've always been kind we used to laugh hysterically in fact i i remember that uh to this day like some of my best memories are just little insignificant things that that well were then i thought were significant but in terms of like you know um kindness and and being a, a good person um you have always stuck out to me as, as being one of uh the kindest uh, in in my formative years, in in my oh my grandma. god, thank you. You're gonna make me cry, well, dude. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> no, and I, and I say that in all earnesty. I'm not trying to blow any smoke, but but even just hearing you you, you tell me that that uh, story confirms, you know, what I've always known, what I've always thought. So um, thank you. Bravo for you. Good for you. Because like I said, that that takes a very loving person and, and strong person to be able to do that. Um, well, and, thank you. Uh, you're and you want to you want to know something too? He has two beautiful boys now. Oh, he does. See? Yeah, see? Uh, he met someone um, not yep. too actually probably a few months after I think I'm not even sure when he met um, her. And it was interesting. I had seen a picture of her on a mutual friend's Facebook page, and I said, "That's the girl." As soon as I saw her face, I said, "She's the one who's going to have kids with him." And they have two boys. They both look just like him too. Um, the only downside of that whole situation is that we don't really talk anymore. Like, we didn't get into a fight. Like, we're still, you know, distant friends. Like, if I see him at a gathering, it's like, hey, you know, how you doing? You know, right, it's, right. you know, give each other a hug. It's like, great to see you, blah, blah, blah. Um, but as with all of my other friends, I'm Auntie April. With, Aww. it's not quite like that. But I mean, it's kind of the nature of the beast because I'm, you know, I'm the, I'm the ex. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I totally get it. It's 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 not anything um it's not anything that I I regret in any way but right. yeah, I right. mean you you sometimes you just have to, you know, think about it. And I mean it was selfless to a certain extent, but I was I was like you said, I was also thinking about me. I said, you know, if we had stayed together and either didn't have kids, he he would resent me or if I had children. No, mind you, if I had children, I would be happy because I I love kids. So I know I would have been a great mom. But right. there could have been any resentment there because you don't want to have kids for the wrong reason. And you don't exactly. want to not have kids for the wrong reason. So you want to. Of course. Of and course. so, we, you know, being on the different pages, we were, and we were both in, in agreement when we had that last conversation. It was just like, you know, yeah, it is what it yeah. is. But, um, is you know, life is. goes. And, you know, and this is the thing. Life, in, as you know, life is funny and it's brilliant because you don't think of your life going down a certain path. Like I never – in a million years, ever thought I would be doing something like this? Ever? Really? Really? Ever? Okay. It was okay. it was weird because I, you know, out of high school, I went to I went to college. I was in and out. I I left it because I knew I'm like I, my mind and my heart wasn't in it. And I said, you know what? I don't want to waste the seed if there's somebody who needs it more than I do. Now, mm-hmm. uh, part of me does regret that because my mom worked at Merrimack, and you know, one of the perks was having a parent that works there. You know, so I I feel like. It wasn't like a, a kick to her face. You know, she had always said, give us one or two years if you can. If it's not you, don't worry about it. Right. And we yeah. both did, yeah. my brother and I. And then um, 
you know, he ended up finishing, I think, um, somewhere else. And then I took a lot of years off. And then when I was working there, um, gosh, 12, wait, we're in 2020. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> what day is it? Are you kidding? Yeah, I, the, right. the first video I did, I said, happy Friday. I was like, I have to do this over again. Today's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I almost posted that video. I was like, I said Friday. I'm like, stupid. Um, no, no, especially uh, <laughs> now. I mean, it's totally, I, I'm amazed. That I, I think every day just runs into, you know, it's one long day. Yeah, um, it's just one big weekend. So I get it. I, I get it. I get it. Um, um, so when I went to school, I I was working there. Well, I was working there, and we were in a meeting. And somebody with different the different chairs or the department board members or whatnot, and there was someone in communications, and they had mentioned something about Merrimack used to have a radio station. Now, even before that, it was on Facebook, and I actually told this. This is a person on Facebook I've never met before, and like it's it's funny how everything links. When when Mark and I were together, we had gone to California, met some people in California. They were wonderful, and I made a couple of additional connections through them over the years. And then there was this one person who had this um, – ha- still has a page on, on on Facebook. And then I saw this kid um, that kind of worked for him, and he did, like, you know, interviewing bands and stuff like that. It was all about, you know, um, um, you know, um, gigs and, like, big events and festivals and things like that. And I exactly. saw this young man. I thought it was kind of hot, for starters. And I saw this young man, and I was like, okay, first of all, he's hot. Second of all, I want to do that. I want to. I, I wanted the microphone in my hand. It was the microphone, and as you know, I'm a talker. So I said, okay, let's think about this. I said that would be so cool. So fast forward to the meeting, the guy said the radio station, and it was like a thousand light bulbs went off. I said, that's it. I need to do something with radio. Yes. So yes. I went into communications at Merrimack, and um, I went into this thing called the Academic Forgiveness Program. And long story short, like you said, too late. Um, <laughs> um, it's Go for people on. like I, I, I love it. Go, yeah. It's like Great. it's like for people like myself who started, um, let's say, years prior and never finished, and my GPA was horrible. So what they do is they wipe your GPA clean, but you have the you have the credits from the class. Oh, nice. So it's I, I basically called it academic bankruptcy. It's like okay, you're starting from from ground zero, no GPA. Yep. But they're letting me carry the credits from the classes that I did take. Anything that was over a certain grade. So anything that was like a C or above, I had those credits. Yeah. So I got into this program. I was the second person in it. um, And I believe, I'd have to double check, but I believe I'm the first one who finished. I think the person before me didn't finish. I'm not sure. But either way, I'm the second person regardless. So right as I started taking my class, I got laid off because they got a new president and they laid everybody off. And I was mortified. Oh, they let me finish. I got a, a phone call no from way. them, and they said, we're going to extend your employee. Because when I got let go, the assistant VP of the department, I was I was literally crying like a baby because I was so upset about school. Not the job, the school side. And I yeah. really was so excited about finishing something that I never did back when I was 19, 20, because I was too busy partying and not my having the right mindset. And I really just wanted to finish something I started. I was going to go for my associates. Yeah. I didn't think I would have enough time or money, um, or what not to do a bachelor's. So I figured, let me do my associates and see what happens right. after that. Okay. So I was, like I said, crying my eyes out. I told them the program I was in. I was, you know, blah, blah, blah. A week later, I got a call from them and said, we're going to extend your employee benefit by two years. You're going to be able to finish your courses. I said, are you serious? It's like, I want that in writing. They sent me a letter, and I banged out all my classes. I had like a a three point something or other GPA. I got um A's and B's and I, I really appreciated it more. So to tie into, you know, this whole destiny thing, if and I was um it was right around the time Mark and I were together and breaking up and stuff. I got my degree and my one of my I think it was my last class, I wanted to do an internship somewhere it was like a business internship and I'm like how am I gonna do this and it was almost like someone whispered in here or opened a door in my head and said do an internship at 92.5 the river so I called them reached out spoke to someone and said you know can I do something like this and I'm going to be the world's oldest intern <laughs> 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 and 
And he said, absolutely, we'll, we'll figure it out. So I went to, I went to school and I said, okay, I'm going to do my business internship with a communications, um, perspective. So I kind of tied both because I, it was communications was my major and business was my minor. So this one, this class was one of my business classes. So I did like a communication. I did a summer internship at the river. I had a blast. I stayed on with them for a few years and I'm saying to myself, um, if my life, if I had stayed in the direction I was when I was in a relationship, I probably would have never really veered in the direction I'm in now because I would have never gotten a job at the river. I would have never have gotten a job in Brighton because I worked at WRKO for a year and a half. Right. As a, as a producer, right? Yeah. Part-time producer. I was only on Saturday. Let me tell you, that's the only kind of job I'll wake up at four o'clock in the morning on a Saturday oh. to do. Oh. Yeah. And let me tell oh. you when I, the last job I just had, it was um, about – it was in Woburn. So in the morning, it was at least like an hour drive. So it was getting too long to continue that Saturday job. So I ended up leaving RKO. But okay. between the – before the RKO is when I did that Cape Cod um, – the Cape Cod interview, and that's when I started working on the whole podcast. And I said, you know, I can do this. And then working in Woburn, I left the weekend job because now I was able to get my podcast going because I got trademarked. I got um, – I had to get a lawyer for that because when I did it through LegalZoom, I got denied. And I was like, well, uh, hell, to, hell to the no. That is not acceptable. Right. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. So I got an IP lawyer through a friend of mine um, ref, um, referred me to them. I said, here's all of my research. Here's everything. Here's my glitch. And they took everything, and they kicked ass, and they got me my trademark. I had them put my release forms together. I have one for guests such as yourself. Oh, wait, did you email me back? I did. I you did, did and, and I and I use the verbiage um, that that you that you requested, and I think it's that because I, I was worried because I'm like, oh, like you, like I don't have any um, uh, what's the word ink for my printer, so I'm like, how am I going to get this to you? But now that we're able to do the whole uh, oh yeah email thing, bro, no, fantastic. Uh, that yeah, you, gotta, no, it was fine. It was, you know what's funny? I don't see your email. Where is it? You don't? I, repl I replied to your original. This is so uh, weird. I Sometimes I hate my Gmail account. Oh, yeah. See, I, I, when, when, did I, when did I reply? It was, it was yesterday, I think, after we had messaged. Um, oh, maybe it was what? the day before. It was originally going to do uh, last Friday. Um, so it was, either, it was either yesterday or the day before. Um, but it was just a quick, yes, I accept, you know, and, you know, I can't looking forward to it. It was just one of those replies. It wasn't. <laughs> Uh, anything that was um and it was from your original email right oh wait yeah, yeah. It? in fact I can, I can i can pull it up right now if i'm savvy enough oh. to it. you know yeah. i'm just i'm stupid here it is okay you see it okay good, you... good. <laughs> <laughs> look at there it's right there in black and white right well i now i got now i'm kind of i was thinking oh my gosh what if what if i miss you know didn't send it or it didn't go through or um but yeah, no, that was fine because I re I read through the with the paperwork and I'm like, oh yeah, that's fine. Because like I said, I don't have I currently don't have any ink, so I'm thinking, how am I going to um, give my consent? And 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 you know, after you had said, oh, you know, just reply to the email and that will be the that'll that'll do it. And I'm like, perfect. Um, oh yeah, so, no, that yeah. is that's oh. perfect. And then with the whole yeah. thing saying this call is being recorded, so you obviously know ahead of time it's been recorded. So yeah. you know, and oh, yeah. and. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing any calls with people unless I have their email anyway, so that works out really good. Um, right. So what was, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because I thought about th – this is really what happens naturally with my shows. Like, I like to have certain topics in mind. Yep. And now, if you really think about it, we still haven't even really gotten into your theater company yet, and, and we're I at, like, 54 minutes in. <laughs> hey, Flo, I, I knew. I seriously knew as soon as, as – as uh, we had made plans to talk. I said, we, especially when I heard that, that um, Fanny is going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be talking to Fanny and you and I'm like, oh, Lord, we're not going to have enough time. No, but you know what's funny? Uh, is we'll rolling. just do another one because, like I said, I yeah. think that give us, I would give us till about 11 or 15. That gives me time to grab a quick bite before she calls at 12. But no, my yeah. thing is, it's like, this is what happens even when people are here. Like, we'll have a set, we'll have a set topic in mind. We may, touch upon it a little bit and then it always just veers off and that's the part of the podcast that I love the most because a lot of people when I first started said oh well what's your podcast going to be about I'm like everything 
Right. <laughs> anything and everything. That's, right. No, it's like a cornucopia of, of topics and, and, and oh yeah, and, and everything just bounces off. Yep. Everything else, if you start talking about one thing and then, oh, of course, with me, like, of course, me being like, oh, I've got 10,000 things in my head. So I'm going to, you know, I hope to God that I can relate whatever I'm talking to to what we were originally talking about because I can just go off, as can you, which I think is, I love oh, it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're all on the same page. Um, oh, absolutely. But, and you know, and it, just like, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. Right? I, I would be. I would be lying to you right now if I if I said to you that I uh, that I would well, I wouldn't want to be um, featured on one of your future podca- podcasts because this 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 to me is like uh, so exciting it's, it's almost like having a, a, a reunion where others can listen and others can yeah it from. and like I uh, I'm thrilled like I when you when you first asked me I'm like oh my gosh, I, 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 I don't know what to do. Like, I'm so excited. About <laughs> I literally took, took uh, like, a, a piece of paper, and, like, I started writing things. Okay, so what should I talk about? And I started to, like, you know, research things. So if you ask me about <laughs> things, I wouldn't be like, uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, what no. Do it. I, but it's then definitely I not. Like, you know what? Whatever. I, 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 yeah. I, I be freelance and have fun, and I, I am totally having so much fun with you. Um, oh, this is awesome. This is a blast. This is a blast. Uh, and, I, and you, you deserve, if, if I have anything to say about it, I will blast your podcast <laughs> until the day is long because this needs to be experienced by everyone. I, I, I'm just so thrilled. Like, I, I couldn't be happier. Thank you. To be, to be chatting with you again and to be talking about all these. Oh, my God. And such. Um, I meant to tell you before I forget because my mind is a sieve and I'm old. Um, <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard of the Connecticut School of Broadcasting? Uh, no. Okay. So, so up until well, this was probably back in oh, good lord, uh, 2000, uh, 20 years ago. Um, because that's one of the things that I had thought about as well with with uh, communications and with with being um, uh, radio or voice talent. Um, there's a campus uh, called or is a school called the Canada School of Broadcasting, and they actually have schools throughout you know uh, the country. And the one mm-hmm. that I actually went to, uh, Canada School of Broadcasting, in, in Wellesley, is that is that am I pronouncing that correctly? Wellesley. Oh Matt. wow! And it's like an eight or nine month program and they and they and they uh, teach you about uh radio they teach you about mm. television yeah um and this was pre-digital so i don't know you because you probably are you are you, are you digitally savvy and all that and, um uh, you know that, it's it's funny because i think everything that i do is more of like i've actually basically just scratched the surface on a lot of things i yeah. i took my communications degree started at the river well it was funny because when i started at the river I always wanted to be on the air, and one of the yeah. DJs, who's still one of my friends to this day, she said to me, she goes, on the air is great. She goes, but learn production. She's like, try, yeah. try to learn some production work, even if it's a little bit. She said, because that's where, unfortunately, because back in the day of Howard Stern and, and DJs back then, oh, that's when they were, Stern. I yeah. love, I, I do like Howard oh. Stern. He, he doesn't hold but back. and. Started- yeah, yeah. You know, and, and back in the day when they were considered celebrities, and some of them still are, Yep. But all these regulations, radio really changed, you know, some time ago. So she yeah. said, try to learn some production work. So I went to the production manager and I said, hey, I'd like to learn a little bit. Can you help me? And he said, absolutely. And I did some voiceover work. And I've never been more painfully aware of our accent. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I have a hard time yeah. saying I pox the car and have it. Yeah, that I hurts me to say that. God. Yeah, I need to no. say my car is parked in the Harvard Yard. Like I, I have to yeah, watch my R. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get yeah. It. No, it, I used to get because I used to do the same. Like we, we would do some voiceover stuff, and every single <laughs> time I did it, they'd be like, "Okay, stop. Um, <laughs> you do that again without the 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 huge accent." I'm like, uh, "What am I doing?" And not only that, <laughs> you had mentioned this before uh, earlier in our conversation, talking so fast. Uh, yes. And constantly, like, to be okay, now you're going to slow down, you're going to lose the accent. I mean, for some things, it would work beautifully. But oh, others, yeah. it's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe. Like, because you don't think about it. For, being from New England, whatever, we talk fast, we have an accent. What, that's just yep. what it is. You don't even give it a second thought. But, like, exactly. you said, you become painfully aware. <laughs> 
of, of our oh, yeah. accent and our, oh, God. And our pace of, of, of speak. Yeah. So oh, I, my I, God, I get it's it. so funny. And I, I remember I doing some, some training with him, and I would start talking. He goes, and I hear right behind me, he goes, watch your R's. Start out, <laughs> watch your R's. Don't use that as a crutch. I find with my broadcast, with my podcast, I also find that I'm always like, um, I say um all the time. It's driving me crazy, and it's like, I got to stop doing that. I'm going to still be nope. flipping there all the time. <laughs> but you know what, though? The funny thing is, in the same – I have to, being being in, in, in the theater and, and being a director, I, I have to tell you, um is a big one, and you know what else? Like. Oh yes, I can't tell you. I've stopped counting because I work. I mean, I'm very fortunate to be able to work with both children and adults, and after, like the, like the tweens and the and the, and the kids, I stop counting it. It's, it's hysterical because you don't even think about. It just becomes a part of your natural speech pattern, where right. you like like um or like it, it, it's yes. just. Uh, and when you have to put a spotlight on what you say and how you say it. It becomes very nerve wracking. After a while, like I was afraid. I, I, you know, I used to love doing like voiceover stuff, but then after, you know, the instructor was pointing out certain, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you, you know, habits that that we have, uh, I you would get nervous and be like, oh my gosh, I can't, you know, I don't know if I can do this. But you know, again, just you know, trying to. But it, 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 was, it was good because it made you think about. Start yeah. things. And the same thing with acting, too. You have to think about, you know, your posture, your speech, and, and, and your pace of speech. And, you mm-hmm. know, it, 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 when you put a mirror up to yourself, it can be terrifying and glorious at the same time. It's so, usually terrifying for me, but go ahead. Try, right. No, no. <laughs> I, I hear you. I, I'm the same way. Um, but, you know, you, you it, it's good so that you can, you know, work on certain things and, like, mm-hmm. uh, it's, I just said it. And now I'm conscious of, of life. <laughs> Um, exactly. And, and, oh, oh my God! See, I, I'm doing it without even speaking. It's hysterical. So, um, and I think I, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But, like, I can't believe you. Like, really? <laughs> uh, seriously? Like, um, it's ridiculous. Oh my uh, God! So, <laughs> now I'm gonna be conscious of that. Um, I think um, I did it again. Okay, we're gonna stop. It's gonna so stop. funny. It's 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 really it's really weird when you don't think of it and then you, like you said, it's brought your attention and you're like, see, I did it. I just did it. Do I see? 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 Yeah. See, it's, it's like, oh my god, I gotta stop that. I, gotta, <laughs> but, I have to stop now. I have to stop. <laughs> but um, touching base on a, on, a, on a separate topic, like when you said Howard Stern, like that's mm-hmm. the reason why I went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting because he actually had pitched that. Uh, on on his show, this is pre serious, uh, mm-hmm. serious radio, uh, which I think you should try to get into because oh my god, I can't, I I would that would be fantastic for you. I uh, have looked in actually looked in here and there. I haven't been in on that website for a while though. Yeah, no, uh, okay. Uh, I just said I'm um, again. Folks, I don't really know uh, too much about serious ex- except for obviously for for Howard Stern because before he was on Howard Stern, I would go to and from work and I would be literally pulling over in the car and like trying to compose myself because he, to me, I thought Howard Stern was just brilliant and I thought he was funny. A lot of people think he's crass and which he is, but that is, that's what made him the personality him. that he is. That's what, because he didn't take any crap. He, 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 he like really just, you know, broke that, that fourth wall of like, Oh yeah. You know, him, then telling him like, you can't do this. Oh yeah, I guess I can't. Um, and I admired him for that, so I was like, I think I want to try this school. So of course, I, I went to the pro, I got the certificate, and I um, went to my one interview. And I forget where it was. I think it was actually somewhere near the Cape, but it was a small radio station, and mm-hmm. it was a Christian radio station that I had gone. To, they were looking for either uh, an on air, or they were looking for production. I forget at this point what it was. Obviously, I, I didn't get it. But uh, um, unfortunately, I never pursued much after that because it just got to be – it's daunting. Like you had said earlier about you are actually pr- packaging yourself. You are your own – especially when you're, like, self-employed or when you're trying to work on your passion, you literally have to be everything. You have to you have to present yep. yourself. You have to, like, market yourself. You have to like, – everything. And it just got to be really, really uh, intense. So – I, I, I then at that point decided to, to switch my focus on the stage, which I always wanted to do anyway, 
But mm-hmm. I, I think that that um, on air talent is, is great, and I and I I think that's wonderful for you, April. You you know I, I would actually like to see you have like both, almost like a Howard Stern setup where you have actually a video and like I loved watching the the promo with you. It was that was that in your basement? That was fantastic. Oh yeah, it's and, that, and it wasn't. It's, it's funny because at some point when I actually have the funds to do it, I want to put about three or four cameras down here so you can see every part of the room. Yeah. Um, now Perfect. just the, the solo videos like yesterday that I can just do with no problem. The only yeah. thing, it really does depend on the guest. Not everybody wants to be seen. They don't mind being yeah. heard. So yeah. in that respect, I would be doing the visual for certain people. Um, but I'm just going to start doing more podcast videos. And it's, it might not necessarily be, I'm, I'm not even sure yet. I haven't really figured out the format. But one of my, one of my things is not having an exact format because uh, the one thing I've noticed with a lot of these shows and podcasts is they're great, and I love them. I really, really do. They're all very structured, and they're only in one direction. I'm, I'm eclectic in a lot of yeah. ways. I like yeah. all kinds of music. I have, I, I like all types of people, all types of movies, things like that. Yeah. yeah. And I feel that, you know, when when they ask me, well, "What's your show going to be about? What kind of audience?" I said, "I want anybody who's interested to listen." I, I have friends from the ages of twenty to seventy-five. So. Right. Right. Tastes are going to range, and and I like a little bit of everything, so I want to use that to my advantage. I will say this. There are two topics that I do not want to talk about. is usually um, religion and politics. I find Agreed. they're very personal beliefs, yep. and I am not here to judge, and I'm not here to sit here, well, I don't like you because you don't agree with me. I'm not like that. You, you know, are um, totally on the same page, sister. I, I, yeah. I, it's I, every I teacher's own. Yes, of course. Of course. Like, I... I am, it's, it's so, like, I have, I, I pride myself on being someone, I, I wasn't always like this, and I think that has to do partially with how uh, I was raised, you mm-hmm. know, and, and of course going to parochial school and going to, a, you know, a Catholic high school. Not to say that that wasn't bad. I, I, I'm very grateful. Mm-hmm. But, but going to, you go from a, from a, a Catholic uh, education system for both grammar school and high school, and mm-hmm. then you go to an extremely liberal college. Yes, and that just opened my mind and my and my you know, and I and I feel so blessed to have this you know understanding that that everyone is different in it, and that's okay, and everyone can you know have their own opinions, you know, and and we should respect that, and and that's what makes us you know unique and, and special which which you know i i'm very grateful for that i i don't think we should all be the same and we all have our own opinions and that's what makes us us so absolutely you know, I, I i think that that i'm i'm grateful for that but uh uh i like i said i i am i'm i'm so thankful for you april like for, for doing this and for reaching out and i like i said i to repeat myself which I do all the time, so please forgive me. And you, can, you can edit out whatever you want. I won't edit anything. It's all going to be raw, raw material. Raw, raw, I like it. Raw, <laughs> you know, like, that's perfect. That's, I love it. But what, I was, what I'm trying to say, long story short, again, too late, is, <laughs> is that I, when, when, when you asked me, I was like, holy crap, I, I don't want to. I, I got tense. I literally got tense. I'm like, I have to be perfect. I have to, you know, because I was thinking that there is, uh, some sort of structure, and that's the best way to make sure that you don't say something you shouldn't, or or, or not speak out of turn, or not give false information, or just because you have things written down and you're like, you know, there's a format. And then when we started talking, I just lost all that. It was just oh a, yeah, like a, like a breath of fresh air. It's like this is so much fun. It's like having literally having a coffee date and having you know a wonderful union uh, by a telephone conversation. And I oh, think absolutely. That, that format is perfect. I, I, I think that's a great way to do it because you end up talking about so many things that way as opposed to having the structure where you only talk about certain things and, you know, mm-hmm. it just it opens up the conversation. And it just oh, yeah. Becomes... I I love talking about everything. And it's and to touch base on the whole, like you said, you got nervous and a little tense. One of the times I had – which one was it? I think it was the Mother's Day one a few years ago. Two, three. I'm not sure. I had my friend Jen, Lucy – and Jen. Actually, it was two Jens and a Lucy. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. One of my friends, um, well, actually, the 
let's see, um, one of the gens I know I've known since freshman year high school, and okay. the other gen I knew after high school, probably college years. But either way, I've known them forever. And um, my friend, she she looked at me. She's like, I'm probably not going to say much because I'm a little. I'm because I'm like really uncomfortable, and I'm really. I'm probably just going to sit here and, you know, I'm going to laugh here. And I looked at her and said, well, listen, don't worry about it. I said, but I promise you this. Trust me when I say this. You're going to forget the microphones are there. We started talking, and she forgot the microphones are there. When we were done, she looked at me. She goes, when can I come back? <laughs> yes. Well, that's what – yes. And I just yeah. say that. I'm like, I don't want to sound like I'm – but I'm like, I am I am so looking forward to another opportunity to, 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 to speak with you and to talk. Oh, absolutely. I'm already thinking next Monday morning. We can, and I'm going to name that Monday morning coffee with Mark. Oh, oh, April, you have made my year. I'm not kidding you. (laughs) I think this is, this is a fantastic forum. I think what you're doing is brilliant. I think you're brilliant. Uh, You're brilliant. (laughs) Oh, please. Look, as a side note, I know this is totally off topic, but I'm jumping another topic. Do it. I, (laughs) want the the name of your stylist or the person that you get when you did had your hair done um oh her I name is lost. april <laughs> did you you did that well Where actually no I, no well no it's just because my hair is super long you're talking about the color yeah well i love Gina. that i love the, i mean Gina. i love it as it is i'm sorry what were you saying well let me rephrase that i have two okay. stylists one one is my friend's mom, and she's okay. right. She's like two seconds away from me. She will give me my like every so well. It hasn't been trimmed in a while. She will give you normally just gives me my little trim, and yep. all as well. Um, any kind of funky color. Um, yeah. When I did the black and the purple, that was Gina, our Gina from school. Oh, our Gina. Are you kidding? Our Gina. No, I'm are not kidding, kidding at all. She, fantastic. Uh, I, I did. She did the black and the purple. I loved it. And then it started to fade a little bit, and um, I. Well, obviously it fades a lot as time goes by. And then okay. I went to my friend's mother and said, okay, I'm not going to do another crazy color, but can you just do it all black for a while to let some of it grow out? And okay. because the black I had was a permanent and then the purple was a semi-permanent, I think she said. So okay. that would naturally come up, but the black would stay longer. So I had my friend's mom do all black. And okay. then as that faded, it was kind of like a black top and then it, look, it looks brown on the bottom now. Um, but really? I definitely want to do another funky color because I mean I I got like, daring in my older age. No, April, it it, it is fantastic. I, I I I am so jealous because I literally was thinking, okay, I really, especially now, not being able to go to, um, you know, the salon or get the yeah. typical, you know, stuff you usually just take advantage of. It's like I okay. First of all, I have to tell you that I am I go to the salon. Now, now, hear me out. Every week, mm-hmm. uh, I get my, they have my hair cut that I have to have it a certain way all the time. Um, <laughs> you know, and I have certain things that I do all the time. And and I have always toyed with the idea of doing like like a like a dark purple or even you know, a lighter purple hair. And 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 now when I saw you and I well I know it's a, it's a photo of you. It's a, it's you know you photograph wonderfully. First of all. Uh, I just said I do like chin up shots. <laughs> yeah, well, see, I <laughs> or quarter face trade, of course, of, of course. Um, but like I said, when I when I when I saw that photo, it's like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing, and you pull it off so brilliantly that I that I wanted to take a moment and 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 find out who is responsible um, for that. And now that I know. Oh yeah, I, I, could, I, haven't, I haven't. Gina again. She's another one. You and Gina. Uh, I love Gina. Up, I can't even. I can't even tell you how much. She um, was here once for a podcast. Was she really? Yeah, and she was oh. so cute because she was super nervous. She actually didn't talk that much. Um, okay. Let's see who was here. Gina, um, yep. Jen, the one I know from high school, and I yes. think Lucy was here. We did a paranormal episode because I love paranormal oh. stuff. Are you kidding? Like all. Oh. Okay, so, so that next week's topic. Uh, next week's topic. <laughs> okay, I'm what, seriously. When, when we when we finish our phone call, uh, I will be sad. <laughs> first of all, but second of all, I am going directly. I'm gonna I'm gonna get either a, a piece of paper. I'm just gonna put on my phone, like in my notes section. Okay, here's yep. our next set of topics because you have not. I the paranormal. I love talking. Love about it. Freak Absolutely love it. And I love it. I can go. I mean, seriously, food paranormal. 
Uh, any, I mean, seriously, we can go on and talk about things <laughs> until the, I'm not kidding you. You're going to be like, okay, Mark, shut up. In fact, no. <laughs> uh, many of my family and friends will say that, okay, Mark, um, we're done. Okay, I'll thank you. Or, you know, and to conclude, um, because I, but I love to talk, and, and as you can tell, I'm sure you already know that. I haven't picked um, up on that at all. No, I know. It's very, <laughs> you know, I don't like to be, you know, vocal about that, but I do. I, I do love to talk, and I, and I love uh, our conversation. I mean, I've, I've absolutely adored our conversation, and like I said, we're just skimming the surface. And, yeah, and we're just I, starting. This is only the beginning. <laughs> I am so, like I said, I, I'm so grateful um, that you reached out to me. Me too. Uh, I'm really happy. You were one of the first people I thought of. I'm like, who do I really want to? Well, I, I want to talk to everybody. That's not let me rephrase that. Of course, no, but, I understand. But I'm like, who would be like really? You know, who haven't I talked to in a while? I was thinking of people that I haven't spoken to in some time, and you were one of the first people I thought of. I was like, oh my god, he would be great to talk to. Uh, because I knew you and I would be like this on the phone. Um, I can't. I can't even imagine. In person, April, it's going to be seriously. I I, I cannot wait until well, we, can, we are able to actually reunite in person because it's going to be first of all a oh, podcast. Gotcha. Yeah, in uh, a food fest. We're going to go out to uh, eat and we're going to hang out. Oh, uh, April. <laughs> I'll come to Maine. I'll come to Maine. You, and I will, yeah, I, will I love Maine. Love, I will walk in with open arms and and I will absolutely um, visit Massachusetts because, like I said, I, I have not been. Uh, in quite some time, and it, it, there's no reason for it. There's no. You, well, you know what we could do? We could schedule, because Gina's booked out like two months in advance, but you can make an appointment with Gina, and I'll go with you, and we'll sit there and just hang out. Because when I went, when we did the hair, I bought us lunch. I'm like, let's get pizza and stuff, and we had pizza. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure you would probably love that. Can we, can we absolutely do that? I, I would yeah. be happier than a pig in, you know. Uh, so that would be amazing. That would be we amazing, could just, like yeah, we'll reach out to her and let her know, like, once everybody is free to leave the house, you know, yeah, we'll um, re- reach out to her, make an appointment. You come down, okay. we'll make a day of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure uh, she would love it. I'm sure she would I'm love so it. Excited. I am so excited. Like I said, I'm already looking forward to next week. Me too. I, I, yeah, I, this has just been amazing. Like I said, I, I've. It's wonderful to catch up with you and, and, and that you're doing um, so well. And I have to tell you, and I'm not blowing smoke. Um, I don't like blowing smoke. Um, mm-hmm. But but you look fantastic. You look like you did in grammar school. Oh, I, thank I, you. You really do. I mean, I, just a little, I, well, just a little more fluffy. <laughs> well, that, would be, that would be for both of us. I think that you know, essentially. <laughs> Uh, you are you are the, the, the same wonderful person uh, that that you were uh, in grammar school, and like I said, oh, I, I am so grateful uh, to have this opportunity to to reconnect with you, uh, and not only reconnect with you, but in this forum because I think that oh yeah, it's, it's fantastic, and it is going to be one of my my personal missions to to <laughs> blast you all over Facebook, and I will because that oh my god, you're awesome. Really one of the wonderful things I do no, I, I I'm dead serious. I think that that you, you have a voice that that needs to be heard. Not only needs to be heard, but people want to hear um, what you have to say and what you bring to the table because it, it's it's a, a, a wonderful forum and a wonderful medium, especially right now where people oh yeah uh, don't have a chance to to do you know to go out mm-hmm. and to, to be and, oh yeah. Um, and I know. and my I'm also a big advocate that we all have a story. So yes. it's, it's nice to talk to different people because, you know, and a lot of people that are cooped up in their houses, you know, a lot of people are teaching the kids from home and things like that. They need a little bit of escape. That's why my little video, I was like, hey, even if I don't know you that well, we could talk because oh it's just like if you're going out and you go out with your friends and you say you go play pool or you go out for a couple of drinks or whatever. I mean, I don't, I drink three times a year. I'm not a big drinker, but well, I go out anyway. It's we just like, like yeah, and it's. I don't. Yeah, we're like besties already. Oh my God, April! Can you, I, I'm <laughs> glad you said it. I am so glad you said it because I would not want to scare you. Like I have the like I'm like okay, we're best friends now. Call me in an hour. Okay, so that, wait, wait, <laughs> I'm going to call you every five like, minutes. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, so that reminds me. I don't know if you watch Will and Grace, but do, do you watch Will and Grace? The new one or the old one? The old, well, both. But but this is a reference to the the original run. Okay. Where where it was a it was a throwback. It was an episode where 
um, Will had just met Jack, and they had just started their friendship. And I guess the the, the conversation was um, Will was afraid to to come out of the closet publicly. Yeah. And Jack was like, you know, oh please, you're you're you're, you're gay from you know birth, whatever. He was just making the funny. And then yeah. at the end of the conversation, Jack says. You're my new best friend. Call me, you know, call me in five minutes. Call me every five minutes. Click. And that's sort of what I feel like. We're, not that we're new best friends, but I can totally see us being. Uh, oh, yeah. We're friends. like old best friends uh, rekindled. Old yes, best friends I rekindled. Love I love it. And I know that you have to go and you have to eat. You should eat. And, and oh, yeah, that's right. And arrest from, from our conversation. But there's one other thing I wanted to ask you before, yeah, yeah. before um, we conclude today's uh, podcast. Episode. How yeah. how is your knee? Are you are you feeling better? Like I oh bad. my leg oh from yesterday my leg is You're actually fine. Leg. Yeah, my okay. leg is fine. It was the weirdest thing because I said it was I felt like I was ninety seven yesterday. Uh, and not nothing okay. against ninety seven year olds, but I seriously no. I yeah. did yeah. two hours worth of yard work and I really didn't do that much. Okay. But I must have twisted some way because my entire left hip area, like my whole, I was just like like if I was to stand there try to lift my leg out straight i was like almost on the verge of tears i'm like what did i pull but i'm fine now which is yeah, yeah, yeah. but my okay. knee i have bone on bone in my knee my my oh, left okay. knee yeah. so that's always yep. a good time <laughs> it's a, that's a fantastic time let me tell oh, you oh yeah. yeah oh yeah and that's the other reason why i need to to shed some of this weight because i want to have i want to have a procedure done to it but at this weight it's not a healthy thing to have done especially with this you know right. stress on the joints so i have to of course of course and that's yeah, a whole yeah. other episode um but before right. oh, i go i just so wanted to okay okay double check the number that you called from is this a mobile number this yeah actually it's my cell number i've never changed it from okay when perfect I, when i lived in Massachusetts. so when i saw your number i'm like oh my gosh yeah we have the same yeah i just i've always kept it so yeah that's okay my perfect phone. My cell number so well, I have uh, you in my phone now. You can always, we can always text now too. I got you on my phone. You know what? I probably should just shoot you a text. So you have my number moving forward yes, too. Because sometimes because I'll add you. I'll add you right away. That would be that would be awesome. Yeah, uh, that, that would be fantastic. So, April, first of all, I have to tell you, I'm giving you a huge virtual hug. Thank you so much. Virtual for hug. You have literally like I, I'm sure you can tell it in my voice and. Mm -hmm. I, I am so excited and so elated to chat with you and to catch up and to, to be able to, to um, have these conversations. Um, and like I said, I, I thank you for this. This is, this no. is, this is wonderful. Well, um, no, and a big thank you to you too, though, Mark, seriously, because I'm really happy that you were, you know, excited and you wanted to, you know, like I said, even if you didn't want to do the podcast, I'm glad we're just talking in general because even with, right. you know, the show off to the side, I'm just glad our friendship's been rekindled, and now, you know, we yeah. can talk anytime we want. Um, and I, I really appreciate your support. I mean, that's one of the biggest things with this whole podcast thing, because when I decided to look into it and uh -huh. do some research on it, everybody I spoke to, um, friends or family, everybody – and that was the other thing with – and I'll leave, I'll leave the call with this. Okay. And it ties you into it, because you followed your dream. You followed something you were passionate about. I mean, I was a late bloomer. I discovered this later in life, but I think it's because I was supposed to find it at this time. Yeah. And yeah. I had a lot of support from the right. people that I love around me. Like, everybody oh, looked so at me and said, oh, my God, that's a great idea. Yep. If you, you know, let me know if you need any help. Let me know. And that's the thing. If you have something you're passionate about or something that you, it's a, it's been a dream, even if you never vocalized it, because some people in my life never realized that I wrote poetry. It's not because it's because I don't always advertise it, but um, if there's something in your life that you really are curious about doing and you want to try, you should do it because trust me, the people that are around you that love you are going to support you. Yes, and absolutely. And I think it's huge. And I, I, I commend you on, and we did, like I said, didn't even get a chance to really talk about your company. And we will next week because now we have a scheduled day. Um, but you followed your dream and I, and I admire that because a lot of people don't do that. And I think you're wonderful and I can't wait to talk more about your, your theater company. I think today was more of a, let's just catch up and talk about everything. Today. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I look forward to hearing your, your, your further adventures. Um, and like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm excited and, and I, and I miss you and I, and I love you and I send I love hugs. you too. And please do me this favor, even though they have no idea who the hell I am, please give my best to both Fanny and Erin. Tell them I will. Um, that I'm looking forward to their podcast and, uh, I can't wait, 
to to have another one with you on Monday. And of Absolutely. course, I'm texting you all the time now. So oh yeah, please. Oh, I already sent you. So I'll be replying to. Um, and I'm going to send you with a picture. I'm going to send you a picture of my grandmother's piano that's right to the right of me, just please. because I wanted. Yeah, it's a. We we didn't take as good care of it as we wanted to, but it's a, a an old piano. It's beautiful, and um, I'll an send up, you an upright piano. Just oh yeah, piano? it's old school. Old Perfect. school. Old school. Yeah. Well, they yeah. sound the best anyway. That's that's I. That's how I feel. But oh you want to know how oh, you want to know how old school this is? The yeah, keys no. were made of ivory. Back before no. Ivory, before you, they didn't yes. make them like that. We had an upright piano at our house yep. um, back home, and that it was my grandmother's piano, and it was oh yeah, yeah. It's because yeah. my grandmother played. I know, you know, I think she played piano, so we, I kept it in here oh, because it's. God. I would never want to get rid of it. It's part of my grandmother. No, and it's, you can't. Of course, it's it's part of it's part of your family, part of your part of you. Yeah, oh we have so much to talk about again. I, I again, I got to stop because I'll keep you, and I don't want to keep you. I do want to keep you, but I, I know <laughs> I have another podcast. So, um, I, like I said, one more time, thank you so much for this. I, I'm so grateful for you and for for what you're doing, and and I love your podcast. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna preach your podcast from the mountain, April. <laughs> you better believe I am. I love um, you. I love you more, and I can't. Wait oh my God. Go. I say I that I say that all the time. People say they love me. I'm like, yes. I love you more. I love you more. Oh my God, See, April! I swear to I swear to God, we are separated. At you know, we you know what so we are. Let me say, I gotta type this up. I believe if I have yes. this, hold on. There was a term that someone told me a long time ago. Um, yes. Let me see if I let me just. I'm typing it up. Make sure I get it right. Um, oh no, that's not it. Um, oh wait, it's because I can't spell. I'm stupid. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see um okay so the term someone told me a long time ago was anam kara it's spelled a-n-a-m-c-a-r-a two words it's a celtic concept of the soul friend oh nice yeah someone told me about that when i was talking about another friend they said oh that you guys are anam kara and i said what's that mean and they said like soulmate soul friend um we were probably friends in previous lives because I totally believe in pre- previous yes. lives, things like that. Right so, on, right yeah. on. So you yeah. and I are not Kara. I I totally get that. It, yep. That makes complete sense to me. Yep. I I I, I believe it with all my heart. Me too. Um, me too. And I just like I said, it's one of those things where you 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 rekindle the spark in me mm-hmm. that that I'm internally grateful for, and. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to, to chatting with you again on, on your Lily Pad podcast. Yeah. Um, that, that's going to be, it's going to explode and I'm going to help you explode <laughs> it. Um, and you're going to be big and I want you to remember me. Um, I would never forget you. I, you know, I, and I won't let you. And I think it's going to You're be unforgettable. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. You really me. are. When I, when I no. thought, when I think of you back in grammar school, all I see, and I'm not even lying, is your ear to ear smiling face and that beautiful laugh of yours because we always used to laugh so much and it, it, it sometimes inappropriately, especially during the day. <laughs> I, I, I would get the church giggles. And I remember Sister <laughs> Julie actually had to escort me out of the church. I don't know if you ever remember. I will never forget it. She I did. Mortified. I was mortified, but it wouldn't have been so bad. But my mother was sitting. And two pews away from me, and I remember thinking, oh, my God, I am not going to live through the next day. I'm going to get grounded for this. I could not stop laughing. And, of course, I still have a problem with that today. I can't, if you're going to be laughing, I, I turn blue. Like, I can't breathe. That's really bad how bad it is. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's for another time, another topic. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, you – I'm so grateful to you. I can't wait to chat to you again. And uh, again, give my best to Fanny and Erin. I will. I'll be listening to you very with with excitement. And um, I, I can't wait to talk to you. And don't worry, I'm going to text you in like ten minutes anyway, so don't worry about it. Oh, Bye. please do. <laughs> oh, quick question: Can I actually yes. tag you when I post it on? I usually um, I don't always um, ask that because I sometimes forget. But can I actually yes. put a tag with you? Okay, because I'll tag you when I oh, post it. Do. I'm most oh, likely going to post it today because I don't. I don't really alter – I try not to alter the, the audio at all unless someone says, ooh, can you take that part out? Right, right. But well, there's really nothing that I would change. Free, whatever you think is, is, is uh, superfluous, don't, you have complete permission 
interested to to edit at your will, whatever you whatever you want to do, I'm totally fine with. Um, you have to. I think what we should do too is like I'm going to count the number of times when I listen, probably like being notified <laughs> how many times I said like or um, um <laughs> Me too. like I just did it again. So, but that'll be my that'll yeah. Be but that my. was a conscious way of saying it. So you can't you can't count the ones that we're actually conscious of, the ones that we nonchalantly say and we miss. Right, those are the ones that we have to count. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that makes okay. I like that better. I like that better. So, you have yourself a wonderful lunch. Um, Thank you. You too. Have a great rest of your week. And, and well, text me. Text me. We got it. Oh, you know, <laughs> hello. You know I am. No worries. No worries. <laughs> have a wonderful afternoon, April. Thank you so much for this. You too. Thank you so much. And before we hang up, I'm just going to hit, I'm going to hit my little key to have the call. And so, um, once again, everybody, this was my friend Mark from Grammar School. We're going to be speaking again next week. Um, Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Calling it Morning Coffee with Mark. So we'll have another yeah. segment next week when we already have ideas for topics. So, Mark, thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, April, on the lily pad. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I do too. And we'll All be right. right and I'm going to end the call, and but don't hang up. We'll talk after the mics are off. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, April.